the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Three keys to activate the force of unity. Beloved people of God, co-laborers in the gospel, politicians, businessmen, if you understand my sermon tonight, if I drop the mic here, my coming would have been a successful one. Because by the next time we'll see, you will be flying on eagle's wings on the strength of unity. Are we together? Number one, love. John 13, 35. The first key that controls the force of unity is love. Can I tell you this? Love is not just an emotional thing. It's a product of a revelation. When you love just emotionally, your love will not last. It will vacillate according to how you feel. I feel nice about this man of God. I feel nice about the east of the Niger. I feel nice about my pastor. And the day you don't feel nice, you don't love again. Love is more than a feeling. It is a choice and a covenant. The covenant of love is the ability to stay loving regardless of feeling. If you love just based on emotions, you are going to be in trouble. Emotions is largely a product of hormones. We are talking of covenant. God introduced covenants to manage man's vacillations. Because if it's just to leave man like that, Peter can say, Lord, I love you today. And by tomorrow, he denies him. The covenant. John 13, 35. Are we learning something tonight? By this shall all men know that in Enugu I have disciples. By this shall all men know that in the east of the Niger, God has men. If ye have love, not for me. I'm not doubting your love for me, but your love for one another. Can I tell you this? Hating yourself is a way, is a dangerous way to live. Why should you have preachers who hate themselves? why should you have family members there are some of you as family members you cannot look at yourself eyeball to eyeball do you know that do you know that there are family members who cannot look eyeball to eyeball and sometimes it may not be your fault just individuals who just get up and want to make things difficult and they divide the unity and the advancement of that family everybody shout love let the devil hear you love love you love your pastor just when he preaches a correct message that you like. The day he lashes out the flesh, you look at him. It's church. It's time to change church. This man, I'm not understanding him in this last one week. And then after two years of rigmaroling around with confusion and pain and regrets and sad stories to tell, God will say, still go back there. That was what happened between Hagar and Sarah. Abraham drove Hagar, but the truth is she wanted to leave too. There's no record of her saying, let me stay. With speed she left. When she met trouble in the wilderness, God said, go back to your mistress. Go and submit to her. That is the key to your advancement. That was how your blessing started. Foolish Lot was also another example for us. The first decision Lot made outside of the influence of Abraham took him to Sodom every other decision he had made abraham had assisted him the first official decision outside of the partnership of abraham 
led him that means his prosperity was not his wisdom it was a product of a man who so loved him dearly can i tell you this you must make up your mind that the spirit of hatred bitter hatred pastors sitting among themselves and talking about other men of god tearing them down talking about members talking about denominations it is dangerous even if you pray in tongues afterwards it is still dangerous there must be genuineness of love please lay your hands on your head in one minute and cry to the god of heaven lord take away hatred bitterness from my life from any good state you are not just praying for yourself please pray in the name of jesus christ the spirit of hatred let it lead my life forever i reject hatred not for my fellow brother not for my fellow sister not for a fellow servant of god i reject hatred not for my fellow family member my fellow business partner are you praying love number two in the name of jesus number two romans chapter 12 and verse 10 what is the second key that activates the force of unity in a church in a home in a territory it's called mutual honor mutual honor is the second key that binds a people and makes them united can i be honest with you romans chapter 12 and verse 10 a people will never be united when there is no mutual honor mutual honor means honor that is communicated and reciprocated not one-sided honor one-sided honor will never produce unity among the people you can't criticize me and insult me and call me stupid and say let's be one it won't work that way mutual honor be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love and in honor preferring one another imagine with me for a moment that our father at his age came here on behalf of the eldership to introduce me and to open the gates for me all these great servants of god they came and they sat down and here comes this arrogant man all the way from abuja and he comes to mount the pulpit just because he calls himself apostle joshua selman and i insult every one of these fathers these veterans downplay everybody and then people are shouting under the anointing and i'm insulting everyone you will never invite me back to this city again i show you why for some of you certain altars shot towards you forever because the day you climb that altar you tore everybody including god the only person who was not torn by that talk is you and the eldership said mark this person package his honorarium and give him and never return him here again mutual honor you've heard my teachings on honor please listen to them i have taught extensively again on honor it is one of the greatest spiritual weapon i have learned second only to encounters honor the key to access any door that closes over you it is dishonor that closed it dishonor to god dishonor to men dishonor to principles are we learning now yes i watch this with shock how sincere ministers of the gospel sincere leaders in society continue to pay the price for violating honor it is the, the price of this honor is too costly it's not worth it are we together there are some of you here the reason why you may never have the opportunity to access the grace upon your pastors is because just because you saw them when they were starting ministry 
that sense of honor is not there most pastors is when they go outside of their churches you really see the grace that god gave them when they return back home ah this man is here okay let's listen lift up your hands for a blessing and they casually lift their hands and say look at the man they look at the cheap shoe and cheap watch is even wearing to prophesy and while you are saying that heaven is watching you and a stranger will come into the church with his heart open lord i don't know who this man is but i open my heart next sunday he's the only one who comes to testify is the reason why many workers in church don't receive miracles because they are familiar they've seen the man of god when he was on jeans when they were having leaders meeting they saw him when they even served food he was eating banana in their presence he ate uh, swallow everything and what is there is it not the same hand he even gave me some of it I'm not teaching human worship and let me also reciprocate one of the reasons respectfully speaking why many ministers of God have lost their partners and their helpers is because of dishonor even to members too members are also human beings just because they love and honor us as men of God does not mean we treat them like animals in the name of superiority members have a unique way of punishing you they will leave you in isolation they will leave you in pain financially and so on and so forth it's the reason why a very wealthy man can leave his own church and go to another ministry and say any project that is happening please call me whereas in his own church less than one tenth of that amount he will only go to where he's honored not flattered honored he that honors me i will honor the bible says he that despises me i will lightly esteem are we together there are many young people who have dishonored their parents the bible says honor your father and your mother in the lord let me submit to you do you know why many young people in this nation it is not well with them it's not a cause they brought it upon themselves through dishonor there is such a mark that is like is it, this dishonor has become fashionable in our world today it's a trend many young people see some of our fathers some of you can see a father like our bishop now and just because you have your small anointing and your prayer group or your ministry if you have your way you can even push him if i'm on the street as joshua selman if i see our father and our mother the bishop carrying something on their head i stand before the god of heaven i will come down and help them or at least i will instruct someone to help them my biological parents as i am today if i ever see them lifting something and it's within my power to help them apostle nonsense i will throw it down and help them i want to live long this honor will kill you and cut short your life i'm telling you this many young people you see why it is not well with them in ministry in life because they do not understand the power of honor yesterday our media here were not giving us the best of presentation and i challenged them in love yesterday only god knows all those who sat down together now in unity look what they have produced today within 24 hours can i tell you this servants of the living god here in the east of the niger it's time to keep all this petty jealousy fighting unhealthy comparison who has the largest church members who has the largest who has the greatest anointing who knows this one who has traveled abroad for international ministry let me tell you the truth i must submit to you let's not confuse it we are not the same that is a revelation we must humbly admit we are not the same however no matter how high god has lifted anybody we must be able to hold hands don't all these cliques that is based on we who have prophecy we who have money we who have revelation we who have gone abroad one day you will meet the person you are despising and he will be the person holding the key that opens the door for you someone shout unity shout it again say unity 
you may be sitting by someone's side right now and just because the person is looking like a poor person you don't know that the job you applied the child of that man who owns the company is the one sitting at your side just because you come to church and you see people humble and sitting down does not mean everybody is suffering there are many people they say turn to your neighbor and say god bless you and you turn and you look at your neighbor looking like and you feel it's an insult i don't even know why i'm sitting here and god says foolish person i put you to sit down here i ask the ushers to lead you here because this is the answer to your prayer i'm not being hard on you as from a standpoint of sarcasm it is so that you will learn you've heard me say i am a product of many anointings forget that you see bishop and the fathers here honoring me i'm not stupid to know that these are fathers i must be able to communicate that honor too not to stand and say ah they acknowledge this is why many young people don't last long can i tell you this anytime anybody honors you you are not done until you reciprocate it don't be the one getting honor from everywhere acknowledge me and you are not coming and you must communicate it to match the gravity on what was given to you if i appreciate every one of these men of god and i tell them i love you sirs i appreciate you sincerely oh apostle you are a great man i love you sir oh i didn't even realize it was you blessings apostle god bless you we're together in abuja a few days maybe about a week or so ago Are we learning something? Don't turn and look at a man of God and say, how many members do you have? Um, 200, 200. Uh, my friend, we're talking about people who are doing something serious here and you are even coming. Let's be careful. The person you drive today or you have your prayer group, some of you already have your prayer group and you are already forming some of these ungodly cliques. Push. Can you prophesy? No, move this way you can you have a no 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 move this way do you have money i mean serious i'm not talking of uh, money to buy shoe and bag do you have serious financial resources listen servants of the living god some of us have made these mistakes some of these wealthy individuals today we had a chance to be close to them when they were not in we pushed them looking for those who had it at that time now someone else came and grew with the people who are millionaires today and you are now calling them and say i knew you they say i knew you too what did you do when you saw me that way don't come and tell me to bless you when you ignored me it is the person who stands by you to help you rise that is the person you stand by to support sit down are we learning can I tell you this? I made up my mind. That's why you see sometimes as a man of God, there are younger ministries who send me text messages. Apostle, we're a prayer group of five, seven people. We're just there. And sometimes they think that I may not respond to them. Sometimes they come around for our meetings and I see them. Just young people, seven, eight. You think I'll just say, all these boys. Sometimes I can sit down with them to say, gentlemen, let me tell you, I believe in where God is taking you. Wow, we are standing with apostle. Is apostle God? Am I not a man? Listen, you can do it. You can make it. Where you are now, it may look like you are small. And sometimes you see them crying. That encouragement. A few years down the line, you will hear that those people are on fire somewhere. And they will still honor you because you showed them mutual honor. When you fight somebody and the person still succeeds, you are in trouble. Sit down. You want to see the church in Enugu rise? Young people, 
don't see the fathers and make a mistake of dishonoring them just because you flew first class come down from your first class push your designer bags get on your knees and say daddy I'm just coming from the US but I'm not stupid I know you are here let the world see me while I honor you and the father will bless you and ask you stand up you're a great man may you go far that one statement already opens the door for the next level of your life fathers while god is helping us and lifting us do not laugh at the young minister in your church who is writing songs that look off key don't look down at that young lady she's working while schooling that is a billionaire in progress are you willing to honor them can i tell you this you will never truly be able to criticize someone who honors you so much and you honor them back where will it come from most times there is the instincts in men to feel fulfilled one of the indices that measure fulfillment is progress when you downplay people's sacrifice can i tell you this i know we are different in revelation i know we are different as far as the dimensions of god revealed to us is concerned but i want you to know that every man who genuinely names the name of christ and loves him is doing his best with the information he knows to do you must be careful there are people making mistakes i agree there are people in ignorance i agree but let's be careful as we point fingers at people especially in this end time some of the most unusual men will be carrying mantles in these end times that will make some of us bend our head in shame forever we must be careful enugu united you stand but divided you fall a politician can come out for election and fail woefully and you see him and laugh at him and put your hand on your head till you fall down he's watching you that's your governor you just laughed at the day he becomes a governor he will look for where your church is and he will say they are a mad road there <laughs> why these are the wisdom keys that many people do not pay attention to i hope you are not just laughing you are getting what i'm telling you praise the name of the lord mutual honor when i learned this i never go to a place and i never go to a territory and dishonor the people there if you give me the privilege of climbing your pulpit there are times you see me challenging things and i'm hard on people but i must always let you know that it's from a standpoint of love and not sarcasm you will never hear me talking about any man of god to criticize i will challenge wrong doctrines i will challenge wrong things but it is not a ministry god gave me to point fingers at people no you will never see me climb if I climb on this pulpit and the rule of that church is no moving around the pulpit this is where I'm going to stay till I finish preaching it will not stop the people from hearing what they're saying it will not stop fire from falling fire can fall while standing here listen adaptation is proof of honor you must learn to have a high level of adaptability many of you wonder why you see me preach across different denominations that have different doctrinal divides i have my core beliefs i have my core spiritual values but i'm able to be flexible enough as this man is playing keyboard for me please stop for a moment there are churches you don't play this while the sound is on when you go there don't say my own i know how i charge my atmosphere have different networks in the spirit so that you know how to come to connect to mtn airtel <laughs> sit down please i have to pray i don't want to keep us here for too long are we learning something tonight <laughs> hear me there are places don't feel bad please there are churches you go to teach maybe their ethics and their rule 
is that you either are in corporate or suit honor them don't go and say me i know what the day jesus appeared to me i was wearing a track suit i agree with you i'm not fighting your revelation but can you can you have that adaptation are you hearing what i'm saying now listen if we do not practice mutual honor i promise you this conference will only come and go and every other thing will continue that way but for mutual honor mutual honor if the protocol are doing a nice job don't look at them and say do your work well done sir god bless you and they feel encouraged let somebody try to touch you and you see what they will do because you have honored them a man of god comes and sows a seed of 10 million don't send him a text and say thanks god bless you abba 10 million is much now have some time to honor the person and say look we appreciate this all blessings come from god but we realize that you have done this as a communication of love and honor for this building and i'm the pastor i feel it as a responsibility to come and say thank you or you write a letter and the man says because of what you have done this is only the first phase <laughs> let me tell you this honor prolongs benevolence anywhere you show honor the benevolence has been given the strength for continuity is God speaking to us tonight again someone shout honor. honor now aside from the men of God don't go there all of you I want you to stand and in one minute walk up to someone and just appreciate the person and tell the person I truly honor you it doesn't matter whether you know the person or not don't come and waylay the man of God don't please don't come and waylay the man of God go ahead you are appreciating the next apostle some of you you are appreciating your wife I honor the grace of God upon your life I may not know you don't look for the people you know or your church members I didn't say to go to your church members I honor you yes I know you're a man of God we fought last year but it's over it's over it's over we are all servants of God it's the same heaven we are going to please return back to your seat rejoicing Lord make us instruments of your peace where there is hatred let your love increase lord make us instruments of your peace the walls of pride and prejudice shall see when we are your instruments oh look what is happening to the ministers my goodness the church is marching on the church is marching on regardless denomination Enugu, the gates of hell shall not prevail the church is marching on sing it one more time with revelation let the devil hear you know the church is marching on the gates of hell shall not prevail hear me anybody that comes into your city to cause division show him the gate of the city and tell him not in any good state carry your trouble and leave this city there is a lot that god is doing no 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 please don't go to the man of god the unity is all right we've we've we've, we've greeted one another just please go back so that we don't have chaos we're going to pray god sees your heart god will honor you man of god and bless you in the name of jesus are we together that a time will come when 
a particular church is holding a crusade and a pastor that is not even related will pay for 30 buses and say transport people to and fro if they ask you say a fellow co-laborer has come to partner what is the name of the church is not necessary just know that we want jesus to be lifted are we together now the truth is that hear me we will define doctrine we will define modus operandi anybody who does not name the name of jesus and anybody who does not represent jesus is not part of those i'm talking about i have to balance this we are talking about those who fundamentally agree that there is one lord one faith one baptism there are certain beliefs that we may define no worry it's not too much of a reason to cause division enugu the greatest strength that will come will come from a united force if somebody comes and says i am a harbalist i must destroy this church suddenly you will hear voices from every altar what did you say and he said no 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 i was just talking about one person he said no there is no one person in enugu we are a united team you want to attack one man of god you will have to destroy all of us and the devil lets you go no man can come into the house of a strong man and spoil that man enugu it is not the charms that the herbalists are making that's not what is stopping the progress of the church it is not the divinations and incantations it is that the strong men have been bound i'm here to lose them to lose them can i tell you this provided a family is still fighting one another this our firstborn is a millionaire he will not listen to us as if they are the ones who gave him the money they have refused to acknowledge that it was through diligence god blessed him and they become entitled you must bless us and he says continue your nonsense there the day that family decides to be united forgive one another sir we respect you you came out of this family and today god has blessed you we don't trivialize you and he now looks and says even though i am lifted i am still your brother you see that unity they will now turn and say where is the power that does not want this family to move and the devil has to listen because everybody is saying the same thing the moment you are saying something else the devil has cheated you one voice the reason why many terrorists prevail over several parts of africa and even our nation is because largely they have one voice if the voice is destruction they remain there if the voice is mayhem they remain there tonight god has come to shake the church in enugu and east of the niger to say it is no longer just about catholic and anglican and presbyterian and any other church together we are a united force yes i know you may not pray in tongues like me but don't worry it's too small a reason we are still lifting jesus high i know that you may not do this but and the devil says what happened now how do we destroy enugu how do we and you will begin to see such a rise of prosperity and wisdom and increase and power the moment you see a man of god crying you don't need to ask him what denomination you are a servant of the living god why are you crying ministry i'm tired i'm about to give up and he said not when i'm here you are not giving up when i'm here is it not rent how much is it look let's rally around i know that you were careless you made mistakes with your finances but god can restore but that shame it is not the devil who will laugh at the church come let us cover this shame and when that is done we can now teach you how to do it right can i tell you this many of you need to return back let me give you let me challenge you go back and put a hashtag united enugu together we stand
from this conference let your family members know this is not a political thing oh. let me give a disclaimer now so that you don't say apostle came to do politics i'm a man of god i'm encouraging unity call your brother and say my friend you've been in london for 10 years you have refused to come and see us it's all right we came here and we had a message there is a dimension of grace god is giving you that this family needs we need you back come there are dimensions that we may never experience there is a grace god has given this man there is a grace god has given this man there is a grace god has given this church there is a grace god has given this one for this church god gave them the grace for prayer for this grace god, god gave them the, the the grace for consecration and holiness and purity when you find out that the flesh is growing one salmon one salmon from that ministry will damage the flesh permanently there are others god has given them the grace for wealth and prosperity there are others god has given them the grace for leadership excellence and administration when you come together you will become a balanced individual prosperous holy anointed with the spirit of revelation with doctrinal soundness having character having prosperity having maturity having influence having excellence that is god's church the body of christ <laughs> hallelujah so when they tell you someone is sick and is about to die you know you don't have the healing anointing yet there's no need sitting down there and letting the person die because of ego like doctors recommending themselves you can say there is a man of god i know in enugu there is grace on his life man of god can you help me one of my members is about to die and he will stand in that office and say you have provoked that office we will not lose one in the body in the name of jesus christ when that man is healed and you want the healing anointing you can meet him and say talk to me god has granted you such a grace i need this grace on my altar and he says look I had a revelation but i studied scripture this is what i did this do and you will see what i saw the church has increased you are not having increase people come to your church receive miracles and go and there is someone god is increasing don't just say he's using charms and criticize him humble yourself man of god there is grace upon your life and he says look manage some of these excesses you are doing in church all this jumping up and down settle down teach the people doctrine create an atmosphere that can allow responsible people come to your church now you have helped that person because he that told the person was just anointed but childish no immature no maturity no soundness of doctrine no coordination no excellence no leadership now you have introduced these missing dimensions members can now come and begin to stay because they have a pastor that reflects maturity that they can be members in that church you are a man of god you are doing well but you are always struggling financially you notice your members are also struggling financially don't start creating a theology out of your pain and say don't worry money does not matter you are failing in that area just admit it and find one who god has helped and granted grace it's amazing that what is a mountain to you someone near you already has the grace to turn it to a valley if only you can be humble to receive you had reverend dan's testimony and his dear wife 13 years trusting god for the fruit of the womb he would have remained like that till jesus would come or he would have written a book that don't the era of miracles are over but there is always a grace within reach today there are parents with twins wonderful bubbling children serving the lord now please look at me we're about to pray i apologize i know my time is gone right where you are standing whose grace have you dishonored within your land that God has sent to be for your lifting your prayer life has gone down whereas there is a man of God seated here with the grace for prayer there are prayer groups here 
that you can encounter the grace for prayer and damage spiritual laziness once and for all have you ignored that grace i told you i will give you three keys for unity one is love two is mutual honor the third is forbearance what is forbearance accommodate weaknesses and limitations accommodate perspectives that are that are different from what you know it does not have to be what you believe for you to receive people no if it is not the way my church does it i don't believe it that is an error there is one lord there is one faith there is one baptism forbearance is the ability to be accommodating yes i know in your church you may have ac very beautiful line arrays but maybe this ministry you have come they may not have all of those things do you have the flexibility to still forbear forbearance is powerful i go to minister in many places and i have i'm generally a conservative person i'm not jumping 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 but i go for meetings and sometimes you see people jump and laugh and they're happy and they run up and down sometimes they even fly on one another like they're fighting wrestling forbearance the most important thing is to communicate christ i may not do that in my own ministry but you must be flexible is that true yes you must learn to forbear just because it is not the way you know it to be does not mean God is not there you must have the flexibility there is a way you pray the day you go somewhere and you find out that prayer is not done that way don't be too quick to conclude have a heart that accommodates this is the key to unity I'm connected to a lot of men of God people in ministry across the globe and sometimes for some of these people we have very differing perspectives in many things but it's not enough reason some believe in deliverance and only deliverance some don't, don't mention the word deliverance some don't believe it does it's not enough reason to fight we are not a political party here you can still hug yourselves and when the person says, ah, I'm seeing a demon somewhere, and you don't believe in that, don't just turn and say, you have come with this, your rubbish. Forbear, forbear, forbear. Are you learning something tonight? Forbear. Forbear. Tolerate. Some of you have siblings who are talkatives. When they greet you before, they say, how is mommy and dad is already one hour? and you are a quiet disciplined calculated and intentional individual you can get very wary and say how, how do you ever succeed making noise like this no no you must have a large heart that accommodates there are men of God who will stand on the pulpit and like our father Baba Deboe they may be quiet somebody shout hallelujah somebody do this but there are others when they stand on that pulpit you'll be praying that the pulpit should not even fall it does not mean god is not working with them no just because you are used to it being a certain way does not mean it is the only way you must have forbearance hallelujah so if you go to a church if you don't like the dance group that is dancing just forbear it's only 10 minutes they have it's not enough to destroy your faith allow them finish dancing and go and sit down oh you don't like the choreography no problem just forbear then the children now come in with their special number they will make mistakes their heart will fall they will fight one and just forbear allow the children be featured too don't sit down and be too mature and say what is this i came for i just came out of a retreat i know nobody is doubting your call but let the children also serve jesus hallelujah and you may go to a church and find maybe it's their thanksgiving and people are dancing they will take three steps forward and move back and move back and take just for beer 
don't sit down and say look at how they are, these people are carnal no you are the one who is carnal they are celebrating god the way they know you must forbear hallelujah listen we're about to pray i'm not wasting your time don't go around insulting pastors don't go around insulting members don't go around comparing pastors members sometimes are the ones who join the heads of men of god saul killed one thousand david killed ten thousand when saul hears what do you think he will do oh apostle joshua selman came to town come and see what happened mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. we do not have the ministry of outshining or the ministry of demeaning we are only contributors to lift up the hands of the servants of god in the land to the end that jesus be revealed and jesus be glorified i am not in any way in the flesh better than any of these veterans of the gospel you see what you see happen is an election of grace and the privilege that god has given i must be wise enough to know that even though they honor me it is not to mean they are demeaning their own anointing are we together now don't come and thank god for you sowing seeds to my life but make sure you also do it to your pastor too don't go around blessing other people and leave the primary person that god is using to feed you is hypocrisy love mutual honor husband go back home and meet your wife and say wife i don't want to take it for granted that every week you cook for me don't say i paid your dowry that some of those statements are demonic statements it's not a christian statement thank you thank you for having the discipline in the rain and in sunshine and then you wife when they are appreciating you like that don't just say a hand uh -uh. only a wise husband can produce such a wise wife you, you see that now you are balancing the equation now and the devil that wants to cause trouble in that marriage now is the one who is left for shame and children parents pay your school fees they labor to help you don't come and say i didn't ask you to could you to you know to to uh, what they call it i didn't ask you to bring me here that's that's not a why that's a childish statement daddy thank you it was in my presence i saw people did not write exams some their final year exams but thank you for always granting me that school fees today i'm a graduate and i have come to honor you thank you sir honor are we together somebody comes and does something nice for the city don't sit down and say let them not do it now no thank you sir for being thoughtful enough we have been suffering lack of water here you came and now brought borehole don't say instead of him to even make it electronic he now made it at least he tried you see there is a spirit we have in africa that i'm praying the spirit of of dishonor and ingratitude if somebody brings a bag of rice even if it's a small bag thank god that he was thoughtful enough to bring it don't say at his level look at what he, he, he should come and carry this nonsense out of this house. don't think like that can i tell you this tilt when people bless me whether it's 100 naira whether it's 50 naira it is with the same passion of gratitude i receive if you like bring one billion you bring one naira i am grateful to all of them more than what they gave is the heart that can isolate you to honor you this much are we together now are you ready to pray these are the keys that i have learned go back to your church and teach your workers heads of department don't fight yourself ordained workers don't fight yourself this evil man god will punish him for us in this department and you are serving there you will not receive the blessing that comes let me tell you this men will offend you men are limited but you must sustain the grace today i am able to dispense the anointing with this degree of results because i am a product of many anointings when i came i sat down sorry to have to say it you saw me talking to our father before i came up 
I held his hands. I said, Daddy, I honor you and our mommy, and I sincerely appreciate you. Thank you, sir. That's what I was saying. We were in Enugu, we were in Nsuka just a few days ago. Reverend Vindiolu was there. Our father, the bishop, at his age, drove down to Nsuka. And I said, Ah, this man at this age, he came with our mother this morning. She's still here tonight. Several of these people you see, only God knows the conferences and the programs that they shut down to be here. How dare you dishonor them because you are appreciating Joshua Selman? How many of me can change this city by myself? I'm only here for this night and I'm gone. But these are the ones who remain lifting up the name of Jesus in the east of the Niger. Never honor me at the detriment of these graces. Listen. Prayer groups. Your little leaders that God, are, God is helping, don't despise them. Love them and respect them. That gentleman you see shouting and sweating under a tree, there is a grace upon him. Don't honor the men of God and ignore the protocol. You see how long these gentlemen have been standing? They have been standing even while you are sitting down. If this is a night vigil, this is how they will stand. Don't dishonor them. What of those who were about cooking for us? One of our mothers here has been doing the sacrifice that this woman of God has been making. She also came for the meeting, but the sacrifice. How dare you dishonor them? What of those who have been driving me around since I came? Some of these security guys, they are driving the cars. You see them running up and down. What of this cameraman? This gentleman has been walking up and down like as if he doesn't have what to do. Snapping people up and down, whereas he too wants to receive. You must honor everyone. Without the person who sets the stage, the sermon can be effective. Without the person who fixes the mic, our media people are somewhere there. When I was lashing them yesterday, you were laughing at them. But those guys deserve honor. Because if this screen is shut down, what of you? Who left your house and came? Some of you since afternoon, you were here. No matter how, listen, listen. No matter how anointed we are, if you are not here, we are not in ministry. It's an uncomfortable truth, but it is the truth. In the multitude of men, it's a king's honor. If you have a vision without men, the vision will still perish. Please rise up on your feet. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. One more time. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. Once you're standing, I'd like you to pray for the unity of the church in Enugu. Lift your voice and pray. Father, bind us together in love. Every church, mention the name of any church you know. Mention the name of any man of God you know. Lord, let us shelve away every prejudice. Mention the name of every ministry. Regardless denominational barriers, we make up our minds that this is the season of unity. It doesn't matter what assembly you identify with, locally speaking. United we stand. Divided we fall. United we stand. Divided we fall. Enugu united you stand. Are you praying? Divided you fall. East of the Niger, 
united you stand divided you fall Shalakata press Kadila Bakoria Sadabadeas. That they may be one as we are one. That the preachers may be one as we are one. Having a sense of love one towards another. Genuine, heartfelt, sincere love. Having a sense of mutual honor one towards another beyond results beyond achievements having a sense of forbearance one towards another hallelujah now there are three things I'm going to do very quickly. Our time is up. We've had moments where we've prayed. Number one is I'm going to minister healing and deliverance in the next maybe two to three minutes. Just speak over those who are sick in body and those who have been oppressed. Number two, I'm going to prophesy and speak prophetically over lives that these doors and these gates be opened. Number three, I'm going to repeat what we did last year again. I will ask our father, the bishop, and our mother when it is time, alongside maybe a few pastors that will be selected, to come and stand upon this altar, representing the church over Enugu and the east of the Niger. And they will stand and blow a shofar and announce a new season of strength of power of revival of transformation and of growth are we ready for that pray in one minute every burden that i came here with must leave now lift your voice and pray everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be restored unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me hallelujah hallelujah now i want to rebuke every spirit and every power that is not of the christ sitting over the destinies of men now we are a united force away with offense away with bitterness from yesterday and today there have been massive outpourings of the spirit I want to pray now very quickly father in the name that is above all names over Enugu state over the east of the Niger I come by the power of the Holy Spirit and I declare that every spirit sitting upon the glory and the destinies of men I decree and declare right now at the count of three as you shout the name Jesus those powers and those forces are dislodged I want you to bring them out one my God two three shout Jesus I command those powers release destinies now release every destiny under captivity help them please I cost those destinies in the name of Jesus Christ I declare right now fire from heaven every altar that will not release you and let you go we set it on kapataka toshiata on fire now we set it on fire now bring them out i'm still praying the lord is showing me what looks like stones i'm seeing like three stones 
and I'm seeing it with the pictures of men on it. This is what I'm seeing. And the Lord is saying, set it on fire. I don't know whose destiny has been caged by the orchestrations of witchcraft. But right now at the count of three, as you shout the name of Jesus, may fire burn those altars. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Be released now. I give you the check for leaving. I give you the check for leaving. I hear the chains falling. Shut the gates, cover the sun I hear the chains, I hear the chains, I hear the chains. Hey, Alice, cut the lacos, cut the lacos. I hear the chains falling. Hallelujah. Now I want to attack the spirit of delay. Hear me. As I pray this prayer, the power of God will come on many people. They will start running for some of them as I declare speed. Father, in the name of Jesus, every destiny that has been kept down by the power that raised Christ from the dead, at the count of three, let the yoke and altar of delay. One, two, three, take speed in your life. Speed in your life. Speed in your life. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, I cost delay. I cost delay. I cop a shkote basia. A gratas kateka poskete. I cost delay. Delay in achievement. Delay in ministry. I rebuke you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Who is Okechuku? Okechuku, I'm hearing the name like Okechuku. We don't have the time. Okechuku, you are wearing, there are two of you. You are one. The other person is wearing yellow. Okechuku, this is what I'm seeing in a vision. There is an Okechuku wearing a yellow dress. Is there someone like that? Oh dear. What's your name? Come, stand. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God is going to come on one of you right now. A strong anointing. Destroying every yoke that is not of God. Let it fall upon you now. In the name of Jesus. This door that I see closed for Okechuku. I declare it open right now. Open right now. Help them open right now. Hallelujah. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. I'm hearing a name Elizabeth. There's someone with that name. We have to hurry up. We shouldn't stay. Ah, mommy. Elizabeth. A new chapter is opening for Elizabeth. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. Elizabeth there is a woman here you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb five years five years one two three four five please who is that oh dear I wish we had time but we have to hurry up five years who is that person please very quickly let me know when that person is here because the season of that person has come in the name of Jesus Christ 
Elizabeth, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare right now that everything that is stopping the opening of a new season, this lady going back, this tap that lady for me. Lift your hands where you are. I'm seeing oil coming on your head. I don't know you, but in the name of Jesus, even though I'm praying for these people, the Lord is saying I should announce to you that a new season is opening for your life and your destiny. A new season is opening for your life and destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I declare, my God, I just saw like fire moving from my left to my right over Elizabeth. Fire. May that grace come upon you now in the name of Jesus. Let it bring to end every season and open you up to a new one. I declare this by the Spirit of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I prayed a prayer in the morning and I'm seeing that thing happen again. The Lord is ministering to me that there are a number of ministers here. You have struggled at a particular level of grace, but God wants to multiply his hand upon your life. I don't know where they are, but I stretch my hands. I'm seeing the number eight. Fire is coming on eight people among the ministers here. Father, at the count of three, may that grace rest on them one my god two three take that fire take that fire help this woman please take that fire please help that woman in the name of jesus take that fire new level in your ministry new level some of you i'm seeing you climb ladders you are climbing ladders in the spirit is a symbol of a new season step into that new season of glory in the name of jesus christ Let me pray for the sick now. Please lay your hands. Five years, the Holy Spirit is still speaking to me. Trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Who is that? Is there someone like that? All of you? All of you? I want to pray for you. Please just lay your hand on your stomach as a point, a prophetic point of contact. Just let them be. That's all right. My friend, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Help him. Take that grace. You will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, in the name of Jesus, please believe that there is a grace that can open the, the door of a womb. It doesn't matter the medical report just release your faith in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god every power that is why am i seeing fire just rising from the altar here in the name of jesus everything that has stopped fruitfulness help that lady in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ and anything that wants to destroy your child fruitfulness fire from heaven is coming upon you right now I open this womb now in Jesus name according to the time of life I declare return with your miracle children now return with your miracle children return with your miracle children in the name of jesus madam i'm seeing something that looks like fire on your stomach i don't know why fire is burning on your stomach but in the name of jesus christ whether it's for yourself or someone you're standing for let there be a miracle right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ Please lay your hands. Let's pray for the sick. We have to wrap up. Father, I pray right now for everyone who is trusting God for a miracle in their health. Just help the lady that shouts now under the anointing. Don't bring her out, but just help her so she does not injure herself. I just saw a vision and I heard that sound. 
We are praying for the sick now. In the name that is above all names. Agree with me as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wow. I've not even begun the prayer. I'm seeing the Lord taking away lump in the breast. Breast lump. It's going now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Now I rebuke every devil that is back of any infirmity. In the name of Jesus be delivered right now. I command that spirit. Let God's people go now. In Jesus name. I bring you life and I bring you healing. Be healed right now in Jesus name. Be healed right now in Jesus name. Blind eyes be opened now in the name of Jesus. Deaf ears be opened now in the name of Jesus. All bone conditions be healed now in the name of Jesus. Blood conditions be healed now in the name of Jesus. Heart palpitations, system and organ failure be restored now in the name of Jesus. Every ur urinary problem, I'm seeing the Lord heal a urinary problem. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. Someone, you have difficulty breathing. This has been even before COVID. So this is not about COVID. You have difficulty breathing. Sometimes you feel as if you are choking. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any genotype here that needs to change, we change you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Every damaged organ, liver, kidney, heart, be restored now. Every infection in your body, I declare healing for you right now. If there is anyone here appointed unto death, that the devil has planned that you will not see the end of this year in the name of jesus i command death to leave your habitation now i command death to leave your habitation now i'm holding my stomach because there is someone here having severe pain rambling around your stomach month in month out this continues to happen the power of god is touching you right now the power of jesus is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ any medical report here that is a death sentence cancer hiv hepatitis of all sorts in the name of jesus be healed right now Please believe it. Be healed right now. There's someone you have severe swelling. Severe swelling around your feet. In the name of Jesus, I command that swelling to go down now. Now every other case, whether I mentioned it or not. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Be healed right now. Be restored right now in the name of Jesus Christ now please let me have your attention very quickly I want to invite I don't know the people who we're going to invite but okay there is a list okay can you call the list very quickly as he calls it please just celebrate them as they come because we're going to make declarations over the east of the Niger and over Enugu state we are going to be declaring by the spirit that the gates will open. Please make sure you participate. Yes, sir. Our Papa Bishop Obion. Please Bob. celebrate Bishop as he comes, our father. Our Papa Bishop Jonathan Anozier. 
Please celebrate them as they come. Let's celebrate the fathers. Uh, Papa, Reverend Edwin Bayebo. Are you celebrating them? Uh, Papa, Reverend Akuma. Please celebrate these ones as they come. Our uh, mama, Bishop. Help Bishop. Bishop. Bogo's wife. Someone help our mother as she comes up, please. Are you celebrating Grace? Listen, let me tell you this. Even in heaven, around the throne, there are 24 elders. The eldership is mandated with the grace that can stand and speak over a territory and make declarations even over territories and declare that these territories be opened. Hallelujah. And I'm going to pass the mic. We'll start from um, our, our, our pastor, our bishop, and then right to our father to end. Now, it does not mean that they are the only servants of God. It's just a, a representation. But what I want you to do, please, as they make declarations, Enugu State, east of the Niger, open up your spirit. We're announcing prophetically to principalities and powers that a new season is opened by the Spirit of God. Are we in agreement on this? I know you have been standing, but this is the final phase. Except for health reasons, may I encourage you to please stand in honor to these fathers. Father, in the name of Jesus, the sun rises in the east and it sets in the west. Tonight we declare the rising of a new wave of revival in the name of Jesus. We declare the rising of peace in eastern Nigeria in the name of Jesus. We declare an end of terrorism, an end of criminality, an end of every manner of bloodshed in eastern Nigeria in the name of Jesus. We declare that the power of the Holy Spirit will sweep across the eastern parts of Nigeria with a new wave of revival in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we declare in the place of agitation, let there be revival. Let there be prosperity. Let there be abundance. Let there be peace. Let there be fairness. Let there be justice. Let there be equity. Let there be empowerment. Let the youth receive jobs. Let there be soundness of heart and of mind in the name of Jesus. We declare no more deaths. No more kidnapping. No more terrorism. No more ritual killings. In Eastern Nigeria in the name of Jesus. And finally we declare let the church in the East arise. Arise. Like the sun that is set on the east, let the sun, let the, let the sun arise. Let the church of God arise with a new mantle that will spread across the rest of the nation. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, we speak, O oh God, and the entire east for the unity of the body of Christ. Lord, we declare a mighty wave of your glory upon the churches in the mighty name of jesus lord we pray for the government in the southeast we rebuke the spirit of division and we decree a powerful unity among the governors in the mighty name of jesus lord we declare an open heaven oh god in the entire southeast in the mighty name of jesus oh father we speak oh god that the powers of destruction the powers of bloodshed will cease in the mighty name of jesus thank you heavenly father in jesus powerful name we pray mighty and everlasting father we thank you at this moment for the restoration of the voice and the position of the church in Nigeria, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory. And I declare, I declare even now 
that the north will listen, the south will listen, east and west will submit to the authority of your name in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare an open door for your name to be glorified in this land. Father, we commit southeast in your hand that you begin a revival that life cannot annul. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for what you began doing. You will finish in righteousness. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father we pray for unity. Let there be unity O Lord in the name of Jesus. Let there be unity and one Christian dumb in the name of Jesus. Let there be love among us in the name of Jesus. Let us forgive one another in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray against uh, uh, there will be no kidnapping in the name of Jesus. No headsman will oppress in Israel in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We cover our nation with the blood of Jesus. We cover Southeast with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Enugu. I when I say, Missing Jedavara, Gakasima. I am a Jews on weekend. I am a Jews of Amoron. I am a Kabwe accident in an Ozo. In Jesus' name. Dinin Azofia, Unugan Watulu, Sitata Gaba, Dina Jolo, Uzafo, and Mary Woo. I ne Kune Kusik, Uzina Koraka, the Mayor again. Okay, Mayor again. Okay, Mayor again. I am Pokorita Godika. Oh, Rugging Wakonyan Obinigwe, oh, Rimo Kaisite, oh, Kuni no Kuleba, and Yanali and Aha Jesus. Would I in Southeast Adikumana Jesus? If 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 Nine and Nagonaha Jesus, Oba Konine Eben Sawude, Oba Kogi Eben Sawude. Ebeni na julugo ina ha Jesus. Ndine Josie, ndine Josie, ndine Josie. Iki kereze banata, okusigo na balia. Unu kusie eme ni koga di kwa mao. Aine kuli roko naga, aine kuli naga. Na aine gade, ezinu no gane mwongo kwe eme. Eh, ndio lo di chiche, ndio lo di chiche, ndi government, ndio zondia. Aga na kufu ugo fumana ha Jesus. Anye kugie, ma kai kungo nyozo, kai kungo nyozo. Ebe ni nisi emweta, neme ele, nele. Oga na ganiru. Woman, why ain't Paula Fiano so? I can go for Ogana, Ganero. Nichiego, I chego, now low contract. Oza, I may pay or go. I never may be a job for in case South East in me. Nina Bagona, na, neighbor, na internet. We're never with a lie, I jaffa. Tell them repent in the name of Jesus. If I'm a, if I'm a, Ghana me, nobody in Southeast. Abu ni kwenye le. T 
Tizier, Amen, Kalese, Amen, Nine. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels. <laughs> Hallelujah. One thing I know is that everything that he has declared, we stamp and we say amen to it. Therefore, joining my faith with our fathers here, alongside the servants of God here, alongside the church, we stand and we declare, gates of Enugu, hear the word of the Lord. We decree and declare, tonight, be open now. Be open now. Be open for the advancement of the gospel. Be open for the prosperity of the citizens. Be open for increase. Be open for godliness. Be open for excellence. We pray for every church on this ground and within this region. Regardless the denomination, may fire burn upon every altar. And I stand here in partnership with our fathers. If there is any altar that has been erected in this region and it is not in the name of the Christ, all earth we speak to you. Fight every altar that is not of God. We speak by the apostolic and the prophetic. Every shrine, every incantation, everything that is not consistent with the character of Christ. I command every altar, may the earth fight and nullify them. In the name of Jesus Christ. And we declare that by this time, next year, let it be that Enugu state and even the east of the Niger, let it be for you from glory to glory, revival to revival, power to power, prosperity to prosperity, increase to increase. In the name of Jesus Christ, we seal this prophetic prayer tonight. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Ghost. God bless you, sirs. Let's honor our Father. Now, hear me. Hold on, please. Hold on. Before we wrap up this conference, my session here, we are going to shout seven hallelujah. Listen, hallelujah means halal Yeshua. It means praise the Lord. Are we together now it's not a blind shout this is the final shout that will bring every wall of jericho down and then bring unity and bring strength that everything we have discussed here i'm going to be doing the counting and you will be shouting are you ready seven hallelujah but let me say this in advance thank you southeast i love you from the depth of my heart from the very depth of my heart bishop reverend daniel and every one servant of god who has helped to make our stay and every time we come comfortable i truly love and honor you sincerely and it is my prayer that together as co-laborers we will continue to present everyone complete in christ in the name of jesus are you ready to shout Hallelujah, eh? Hallelujah, oh. Hallelujah, eh? It's the shout of victory. Hallelujah, eh? Hallelujah, oh. Let the shout of rejoicing fill the Hallelujah, eh? Hallelujah, oh, 
when I count the number, you give a loud shout. That that shout is Tehila. It's a shout oh, that no. is bringing every mountain. Sure. Are you ready? Seven, hallelujah. Number one. Hallelujah. Number two. Hallelujah. Number three. final shout anything that could not stop you from shouting six times it will never have the power to stop you the seventh time are you ready southeast number seven Hallelujah. Apostle, thank you so much. Thank you for blessing us. And who honors you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hold on. Please quickly. Are you aware that Apostle is coming back to Enugu on September? September 16th to 19th. How on the rock. Is bringing him back here. Enugu is implicated. Enugu is in trouble. Hallelujah. Suppose he's coming back this September. Enough dosage. Enough food. Amen. So, um, yesterday we announced that over six years apostle cannot live without the um, communicating honor through covenant sacrifice covenant seed i know that some of you may want to see him and give um, honor him but there won't be time for that so that's why we are doing it we are doing it this way so please for those of you outside there will be ushers there that you will drop your own that if you are here and you have yours come out and drop it um, he will be praying for us praying for the sacrifice if you come and drop it on the floor on the floor thank you God bless you Apostle thank you for the patience thank you make sure your seed your sacrifice is here Shala Bradoskia please for those of you outside we have our pastors over there drop it in front of the stand of the screen shila brakos kila dabada mekos kila god will honor your sacrifice please do that quick If you drop, you can go back so that we'll have chance for others to drop. Just drop and go back and wait for the final prophetic blessing over your offering, over your sacrifices, over your covenant seed. God bless you.
place if you drop you go back if you drop you go back to your seat if you drop, if you, drop you, go you go back, back to your seat please god bless you if you drop you go back to your seat just go back so that others will have space to go and drop their own seat god bless you don't go without receiving this prophetic blessing he has blessed us in love we we'll have to do this God bless you. Once you drop, you go back. Please, let's make use of the time. We'll have just a few minutes to do this. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Lord. blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, blessed is he who comes in the name of the account number please media um, apostles account number please apostles account number media put it for those of you that want to make a transfer Just watching this alone is almost bringing tears out of my eyes because um, this is for many of you these are sacrifices these are things that you have done just sacrifices to show your love and your passion for God but I want you to know one thing that God is no man's debtor God is not a fraudster he will not come to destroy you therefore father we lift up these seeds before you they have sown into this anointing in the name that is above all names i speak to you and i declare my god shall supply all your needs according to his glory by christ jesus i declare that god is able to give your seed another body some of you are sowing in tears may you reap in joy in the name of jesus christ you have sown money may you reap wisdom you have sown money may you reap speed you have sown money may you reap favor in the name of jesus christ that everything that does not name the name of christ let it give way right now may the hand of god rest upon you i turn your seats into altars and i give them voices in the realm of the spirit may they speak for you in the days of adversity the Lord bless you. The Lord honor your sacrifice. 
in jesus name i pray amen god bless you dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline 